the comic the end. What is up besties? It is your girl Karmic back to you again with another video and this time we are going to take a look at the infamous Robin Williams. I mean, how does anybody not love this man? So basically what I looked at in this reading was I set the intention. What did he want us to know? What did he want to share with us? Maybe some words of wisdom, um, trying to get an idea for how he felt and what was really going on with him internally because, you know, we found out that he allegedly took his life. So I looked into, you know, what was going on with him as a celebrity. And then I also looked into what happened that night, what could have been going on in the nights leading up to it. And yeah, so as always, this is alleged and for entertainment purposes only, there are no facts here, besties, just psychic impressions from floating hands on the internet. But as always, you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the links are down below where you'll be the first to know about new videos. If you want to book a personal reading with me, same links down below. Um, people have been giving me super thanks on YouTube. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. You can also use my virtual tip jar down in my description box in all of my videos as well. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, thank you to everybody that subscribes. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. I'd love to have you guys here. Like this video if you enjoy it. Definitely comment down below if you have anything to share in terms of Robin Williams' story. Maybe you know a little bit more than I do. Um, but I feel like this was kind of just like, um, how do I word this? Like a spirit, help me. One of those stories where it's like, maybe you can learn from me. That's kind of the energy that I got from him. Um, just to understand that, you know, just because someone's smiling doesn't necessarily mean that everything's good on the inside. We see that on social media as a whole, right? People that have everything that they could ever want, but yet they're really not all that happy. And so I think that this is meant to make us understand that even if you have the money and the dream job and the wife and the kids, that you might not have it all because you don't have a sense of self and you don't have that you're trying to fill a void with outside things when you yourself are what's going to be what fills that void. But without further ado, I really hope that you guys enjoy this. I pray that I did well to Robin Williams. I did call in his spirit team and I do believe I actually saw him this time because I felt him over my shoulder and I heard a lot of laughing. So that must have been him. But um, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please leave it a like. Thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a free and easy way to support my page. I'm also showing this cup because if anybody's interested, it is from a um, local business, uh, small business. And so I want to support small businesses as well. So if you do have a small business and you want to work with me, reach out to my email because I would love to help support you guys as well. But without further ado, as always, besties, let's get into it. All right, besties. So we're going to take a look at Robin Williams, maybe the last moments or just anything that he personally wants us to know. Right away, I'm hearing it's always the funny ones that you have to look out for. So, I mean, obviously, we heard that he was battling with depression. Um, if they say it's because of this illness, I don't buy that. I think it's been a whole life issue of like, it feels like I don't know my own identity. It feels like I'm being shown someone I personally know that has bipolar disorder. So it almost kind of feels like, yeah, because I'm hearing the song Hot and Cold. It's like some days I'm good, some days I'm bad. So it's easy for me to conform and be what it is that the industry needs, what it is that people are expecting of me. It's like I feel I feel like I have to put on a show because I'm, I'm being shown like <clears throat> toddlers and tiaras. And my throat's closing up, which is giving me the vibe of like not being able to really speak out my truth. I'm just trying to please the people. I'm trying to make everybody happy. And it feels like I'm in a storm. Like I'm being like I'm being shown like I'm in the eye of a tornado. And it's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I want. I don't know how to get out of this. I feel like a shell of myself. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What is the point? I'm hearing the song. What's this life for? So this is this isn't I don't buy that. And I, we'll look into the, the death, but I don't buy that, you know, he himself because of whatever ailment he supposedly had. This feels more like an accumulation of my whole life not feeling. Yeah, because I'm hearing the song. I'm going to be I'm going to be what I set out to be without a doubt, undoubtedly. But 
it's like it took a wrong turn and now I'm trying to please everybody else at the expense of myself. And now I'm I'm it's given me like the class clown that goes home and you find out that like they come from poverty and their parents fight and yeah, cuz I'm seeing like I'm seeing in my mind's eye like the kid that struggles goes home, doesn't have enough food, doesn't have a healthy parent. So like did he come from poverty or or were his parents chaotic? Do we know anything about his parents? Because it's almost like I need attention. It's like my inner child is acting out. I'm going to make the world happy. It's like the empath um, dynamic where it's like I feel pain intensely. And so this man must have a lot of water placements. It can't just be his sun sign um, because it's like I feel everybody's emotions so intensely. I feel like a jellyfish in water and being pulled left, right, and center and – I don't even know what's going to make me happy, so let me worry about how to make everyone else happy at the expense of myself. So I don't feel like this was like, oh, I'm diagnosed with an illness. I don't think I could go on having this illness. It, this almost feels like the straw that broke the camel's back. That's what this feels like. I don't think that, I don't think that he had been happy most of his life, honestly, if I'm going to be real with you. It's just bringing me back to like think about – I don't know if all of you guys have graduated from high school. Think about the funny kid. The funny kid was always suffering. The funny kid was like, I know what pain is, so let me make sure that I'm helping other people so that you guys don't have to feel the way that I feel. So I'm going to start with Dark Mirror to kind of get like an energy vibe check from him, and we'll go from there. Okay. Hmm. I'm being drawn to how they're all women. I do feel like there's some regret around women and there's there's like a mother wound that's going on here. I don't know what this stems from. I don't know the story. And my throat keeps closing up. Did he have a, a constrained relationship with his mother or something? <clears throat> oh my God. Because two and two reduces to four. That's home life. With all these women, it's reminded me of how he had a bunch of different marriages. So it's like trying to seek my mother and other people, trying to seek for validation but with, like, the temple of my body, I, I do believe – I correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like he did dabble with drugs. It's almost giving me the vibe of, like, I want to escape. He's got an escapism tendency. I'm not happy. I don't know how to be happy. So and now I'm seeing, like, Pinocchio on the strings. It's like I got to figure out a way. I also feel like – and I see this with a lot of the, the industry shit – he didn't like what was going on with the industry as well. So it's like I'm trying to figure out who I am. I'm thrust into the spotlight. I don't like the people around me. I don't like how they move with that I won't cry for you in reverse. None of you people have emotions. It's always about money. That Black Flower fragrance reminded, always reminds me of the song Roses Really Smell Like Poo. It's giving me like this is bullshit. So it's almost like I'm trying to seek things outside of myself for happiness, whether that's, you know, getting married and trying to find someone to please. He's definitely a giver, an empath, someone with like anxious attachment style. I'm trying to latch on to other people to find my own happiness. I also do feel, for my conspiracy theorists, that he was invited to the club and, I, and it feels like I'm adjacent to the people that are, you know, unhealthy people. And it's almost like what? And I just keep hearing the song, what's this life for? It's like, and with Gilded Regret, I think he knew a lot of shit, too, about people. Yeah, because I'm hearing I got friends in low places. So it's like the stuff that I'm seeing is hurtful. I mean, did he did he start being – I know that he did Mork and Mindy, so I know it goes back a while. But, like, was he a child actor? Because it's almost like getting into the industry before I even had a solid sense of self. So for me, that would be at least before 30 years old because that's your Saturn return. But I'd even go as far as 25 because that's when your brain is fully developed. So I feel like he was trying so hard to fit in and be what everybody else wanted. So it's like I'm doing drugs because everybody else is doing drugs. I'm being funny because I could tell that other people are sad. I'm trying to be the light because I don't have the light in my own life. I'm dating around to try and fill a void and it has something to do with a mom issue. There's a mother issue here that I can't escape. Um, was he estranged from his mom? Was his mom like one of those princess and tiara type of moms pushing you out there? Because it's almost like trying to bide for my mother's love through other people. I didn't get my mom's love, so I'm going to go elsewhere. I'm going to go and marry somebody. And I feel like this is why there's all these divorces because it's like 
trying to figure out where I fit, what makes sense to me. I'm seeing the four of wands in my mind's eyes, like trying to create a family. Yeah, because I'm hearing the song Family Portrait by Pink, where it's like, we look pretty happy, we look pretty normal. But the whole song's actually about behind closed doors. There's drug, there's drug addiction and abuse and stuff like that. I feel like, I don't know if they even told his story, so forgive me if you already know this. I feel like he had a chaotic childhood. He didn't like the way the industry moved. It's giving me Princess Diana vibes. So I'm drugging and drinking to deal with it. I can't make sense of who I am. Like in his energy, I feel really foggy. I feel like I'm not really fully grounded in my body. And I'm just... It feels like another, I'm a product of the industry. I'm trying to make, I'm being drawn to like Britney Spears, like how she's got a innocent type of energy. And it's like, I'm doing this for the people. Like that's the vibe of this. I'm doing this for the people. I'm trying to make people happy, but it's at the expense of myself. With I won't cry for you in the reverse. It's, I, I feel like he was adjacent to the bad groups that we've covered in these readings, but I don't feel like he fully participated because it's like, this guy was highly empathic, highly intuitive, but I also feel like he was a yes man to an extent. So it's like, especially with that black flower fragrance, but they're both in the reverse. It's like I'm around these people and I think this weighed heavy on him too. I think he, because what I'm seeing is like shaking hands with people you don't want to be shaking hands with. And then I'm being drawn to like Oprah, Harvey Weinstein, stuff like that. So it's like being nice for the sake of like niceties, like, I don't know, um... Think about in high school, at least this was true for me, I was more of like the rebellious emo kid, whereas the popular kids were like Abercrombie and Fitch. And I made peace with them because I didn't want no problems, but at the same time, I couldn't really stand them because I knew that they were fake and I knew that they talked shit about other people and I didn't know how to move like that and I didn't like that. That's the vibe of Robin Williams. It's like I'm I'm searching forever for who I'm supposed to be and who I really am. And I can't figure out figure it out. So I'm numbing. I'm drugging. I'm trying to make everybody else happy. It feels like <clears throat> from a metaphysical standpoint, he was deteriorating his entire life with Temple of My Body. And look at that, how it's like a shell. It's like I used drugs to numb. I used coping mechanisms like being funny, maybe binge TV or, well, no, it's just running away to work is a good way to run away from yourself. So I just feel like it's like a faded to suffer type of energy. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to be happy, but the least I can do is make everybody else happy. And then with that gilded regret in the back, it's like, what, what is this life? Like my people that follow me regularly, when I see this type of stuff, it reminds me of the ten of swords. So it's like, I feel defeated. I feel like I can't, I don't even know who I am. Like I'm being drawn to this little orb and I'm hearing, um, who's that girl I see? When will my reflections show who I really am inside? I don't feel like Robin Williams ever knew who he was. It's reminding me of, yeah, I'm being drawn to like method acting and how you like literally embody the character. I don't know if he actually did method acting, but it's like, I'm going to put on all these different outfits and then maybe one day I'll figure out who I am by doing that. Triumph of Lies in the Reverse. I feel like... He was falling apart trying to hold it together. I'm being drawn to the movie um, Encanto with the sister that is the strong one. And it's like, I'm being strong for everybody else. But notice how this person's like a skull and bones. It's like, it's killing me. Yeah, I'm hearing killing me softly um, by Faith Hill. Sorry, channel no brain. I'm sorry if I'm getting her name wrong. Lauren? No. Lauren? I don't know. You, whatever. But it's like... At, at what cost is kind of the vibe because, you know, he won a lot of awards and stuff like that. And it's like, it doesn't mean nothing if you have nobody to share it with. It doesn't mean anything if you're not happy. And I feel like he'd go home and even with having a wife, it's like, I just, I don't feel anything. I'm just numb. I'm empty. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I feel like he was highly empathic. And then being around people in the industry that are, you know, they border on narcissism nowadays when I read them. So if you're highly empathic and you're around a bunch of narcissists, you're going to start to like crumble, crumble, fall apart. And I feel like that's what he was dealing with. It's like, I'm trying to be real in a sea full of snakes. Like that's kind of the vibe of this. And I think it was getting to him, whether... It kind of feels like I knew shit that I didn't want to know, but people knew that I would keep a secret, so they told me anyway, and it's like, I don't fuck with you, but at the same time, what I know is too much. So I definitely feel like people confided in him, because again, if you're an empath, you understand what this is like. People will tell you their fucking life story for just no reason at all, because you feel safe. I feel like he was like the light, 
and the industry was a bunch of moths, all those people, a bunch of narcissists. They all fled to him. They all loved him. And he just put on that pony show is what I'm hearing, dance pony show. I don't know what that means. Um, But it just kind of, it slowly ate away at him. He was depressed for a very, very long time. It almost feels like whatever, what did he say? It was dementia or something. I feel like that happened, whatever. I mean, I'd have to look into it first, but whatever his health issue was, it feels like because I'm drugging, because I'm numbing, because I'm eating bad food, because I'm, it's like I'm, I'm abusing my body because I don't want to be here. It's, it's giving me like starseed energy. I don't want to be at this world. What's his, what's the point of this life? This man was depressed way longer than what we knew about. Yeah. Forgetting oneself in the reverse. It's like trying to figure out who I am to begin with. I don't even know who I am. So I'm going to put on every mask and trying to figure out who I am by doing that. So I'm going to play the funny guy and I'm going to play the role of the sweet guy and I'm going to play the role of, you know, Miss Doubtfire. But again, he did a lot of comedy, so it's kind of hard. But it's like, let me put on every sort of mask until I can figure out who I actually am. Like being in this energy, I would describe this for my tarot readers as like the four of cups. It's like nothing. Yeah, I'm hearing she's never satisfied. He, He didn't know how to be happy. He was already a shell of himself in this industry, which is probably why he did so well, because it's like, well, I don't know who I am. Let me throw a mask on and I'll be that. It's like an empath that isn't empowered. I also think he saw some shit in the industry and it was like, I I can't believe. Yeah, because look at all these flies. Flies remind me of like, ew, right? It's drawn to shit. I feel like really ugly, icky people are drawn to him because he's the funny guy. It's like put on a show. It's like I almost see him being surrounded by like A-listers and he's like, oh my God, like I actually fucking hate you guys. Like I'm hearing the song here by Alyssa, Sarah, I always butcher her name, where it's like I'd rather be around people that want to talk about how to better the universe or better the world. That's kind of how his energy is. It's giving me Princess Diana energy. And it's like, I got to pretend that I'm not seeing this because I know how this industry works. But I am in pain because notice how they're all on his chest. And it's like stealing my soul away from me. Being a part of this is killing me. I really do feel like the industry itself kind of contributed to his death. Whether that means literal, we'll look into the cards. I feel called to pull a couple more. Yeah, colorless angel. He, he didn't know who he was and he felt like a shell of himself. And it's like, what am I doing? I thought that this would bring me happiness. It's not bringing me happiness. Let me get married again. Not bringing me happiness. I don't even know how to be happy. I don't know who I am. Yeah, it's like I thought if I move to other people, maybe they save me. If I move to fame, maybe that would save me. If I connect with a woman, maybe that'll save me. But it's like, I don't even know what my dreams are. The, yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I was getting from this. It, it almost feels like from the moment he was born, it was always going to be like this. I don't really know. People that are experts in astrology might want to look into this. I don't know what his south node was, but it almost feels like um, trying to... It almost feels like he had a past life where he couldn't figure out who he was, and so he settled for shit that he didn't need to be settling for. And so in this life, it's like I did the exact same thing. It's like, I don't know who I am. I'm trying to figure it out and I'm going to the wrong people to figure it out. And I'm hearing I got friends in low places again, which is again, giving me the vibe of like settling for whatever I'm, I'm being offered. And this is reminding me of like Adam and Eve, but then you could clearly tell that that's a, that's a bad apple, right? So it's like, I'm surrounded by bad apples. I'm a good person. I don't know how to be, I don't know how to deal with that. And so it's like, it's taking the life out of me. It's reminding me if I, uh, if you guys remind me in the comments, Um, A really good friend of mine gave me this spiritual website of, like, why we have health issues. It's kind of making me drawn to that. Like, he was falling apart because of the shit around him. And then these two cards going right under each other, they're both seven, which is a spiritual number. So it's like, again, it's like I was fated to – it almost gives me, like, earth angel energy, like being planted in the system – So that maybe I can wake a couple other people up. Like people will learn to love me so that maybe they'll get their energy back so that maybe they could step into their own power. It almost feels like that was his purpose in life. But eventually just life became too much because he was too sensitive. I'm hearing Home by Michael Buble where it's like I'm lucky I know but I want to go home. It's like – it's like an alien coming into the earth trying to be one of us. I'm seeing the the TV show – I think it's called Alien, right? I don't know. They're going to drop it on Netflix, but it's on Peacock. It's a really great show, especially if you feel for like not foreign, but foreign to the world. Highly recommend. But it's like being an alien and trying to put on a show. But it's like, I don't feel like I'm one of you. I don't get how to be one of you. I don't know how to move like you guys. So 
that's kind of where he was coming from. That's where his energy kind of always was. That's who his personality was, his character, and what he was going through. But let's take a look at the tarot. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at his death and then anything else that he wants to share with us. As always, this is alleged for entertainment purposes only. Um, people have been asking lately um, to tip. Um, you can do the super thanks on the page, but I do have a virtual tip jar in my description box in all of my videos. You don't have to. Don't feel obligated, but it is there. Um, thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a free and easy way to support my page. If you haven't liked this video, please do so. If you're enjoying it, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and let me know what you want in the community posts for future videos. And comment down below if you could fill in any of the gaps if you know more of his story than I do. But let's take a look. Yeah, it's like his soul was giving up. His body was giving up. All of it. It's it's just I keep being drawn to like the metaphysics of why like we get cancer and diabetes and all of that. It's like it comes from a spiritual place. Like if you're not doing like, for instance, I, I think all of us logically know that like disease comes from a dis-ease within the body. Like that's not metaphysic. That's common sense. Like if you don't take care of yourself, you're taking on sugar, then, yeah, you're going to probably get diabetes. It's like. His body was giving up because he wasn't being true to himself. That's that's the vibe of this. Family. It's a cycle that he couldn't close, and it feels like it's coming from a past life. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Maybe like putting on a show for other people at the expense of myself and not learning who I really am. Like that's that's the vibe of this. Yeah, it's like fed up. There's that mom wound. There's there's something to do with the mom. There's a mother wound here that I can't escape. And I feel like that's why he's married a lot. It's kind of like trying to find my worth in other women. Um, but this is like trying to create a family, trying to... It's like, okay, not to... I hope... I mean, you know what? If it triggers you, then I guess it does fit. So lace that shoe up. I don't know what to tell you. But it reminds me of like people that have just been conditioned to be like, you need to get a nine to five get married, white picket fence, two kids. I feel like he was kind of like conditioned by society or by somebody else that it's like, if I have the wife, if I have the kids, if I have the home, if I have the fortune, then I've got to be happy. But he certainly realized very early on that there was something inside of him that it just, it wasn't fulfilling. It's like with the seven of cups in reverse, it's reminded me of all of the characters that he's been. And it's like, no matter what I've tried to do, realistically, it's just not making me happy. I've done this role. I've done this role. I've dated this person. I've dated this person. I've done this. I've done that. At the end of the day, I'm still empty inside. It's like this was a battle his entire life to try and figure out. Did he have a strained relationship with his mother? Because it's almost like trying to bide for my mother's love. That's kind of the vibe of this. But if he didn't, there's just there's some form of lack of self-love here. It could have been like a if he did have a relationship with his mom, then maybe it was a past life with a mom issue. I'm not sure. But there's definitely this lack of self-love. I don't love myself. So I'm trying to protrude out how to be what everybody else wants at the expense of myself. And it just feels like his body was starting to give out on him. His soul was starting to give up. It's like I wish I knew how old he was because it's kind of the vibe of like hitting your second Saturn return and you're still not learning the lesson. So it's like, well, considering what the world in the reverse, this lesson's not being learned. Ten of the swords, things aren't changing. So sometimes the soul will bow out because it's like, well, we've done everything we can. We're not leveling up. So it's time to go. That's kind of the vibe. Do you have issues with both parents with that emperor coming up in the reverse? It almost gives me the vibe of, like, I'm trying to buy, get all these accolades, and I have, like, all of these awards, especially going back to these cups. I have all these awards, and I thought that this would make me happy and proud, but I I'm lacking something from within. I mean, this guy has to have heavy water placements other than just Cancer Sun because it's, like, I just keep being drawn to, like, a jellyfish in water trying to figure out what makes me happy, but I'm just, I'm not happy. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Like, being in his energy, I'm, like... I'm, and I'm trying not to let it impact my ability to channel because I know it's not me, but it's like, like I'm doing this reading and I'm like, I don't care about this reading. I, I don't care to pull these cards. I want to go lay in bed, to be honest. I want to go, go to sleep. I don't really care if I wake up or not. Um, I'm just sad, but like not even sad enough to cry. It's just like depressed. And I feel kind of like foggy. 
and I don't even feel like I'm here. I don't feel like I'm grounded. I don't, I don't feel like I'm attached to anything. I just feel like I'm floating in space. I just feel empty. And I just feel like nothing matters. Like, this is the vibe of Robin Williams. And I don't, I don't feel like it was just at the end when he got diagnosed with something. I think this had been going on for a long time. And it's like, well, maybe if I marry somebody or maybe if I get another reward or maybe if I make more people happy and I make funny movies and then people love me. I feel like he was a type where like, Spirit Team, can you take me out of his energy because it's distracting? Okay. Whew. Oh, I don't like his energy at all. No offense. But um, all right. Get me back into the energy, but not, you know what I mean? So I feel like, like if people went up to him for his autograph and stuff, it almost felt like it was like a dopamine hit. Like, oh, I'm finally being seen. I'm finally being appreciated. But it's like, I don't know where my happiness lies. It's a very confusing energy to be in because it's like, yeah, you know what I'm hearing? The song Lonely by Justin Bieber is such a good song, can relate, where it's like, what if you had it all but nobody to call, then you know me, because I've had everything but nothing's listening, and that, or no one's listening, and that's just fucking lonely. I'm so lonely. I feel like he even surrounded himself with a bunch of people. It's like I'm being surrounded in this VIP section of a club. Everybody's around. They're my friends, I guess, but I feel nothing. I feel nothing towards them. I feel nothing at all. Difficult transition. Work. It's not fun. I'm not having fun. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't feel like he wanted to do it anymore. I think the only reason was a mixture of like a contract that you can't break mixed with like, well, then who would I be if I let this go? It's it's kind of giving me Taurus vibes where it's like I've committed, so I have to stick to it even if I don't want to be a part of it. It's like I don't like the people I'm surrounded with. I don't like how this industry works. It's not bringing me joy. I don't even know what joy looks like for me. This feels like depression my whole life. And it's like, I wish I could escape this, but I can't. These, these parties with these people bring me no happiness, no satisfaction. I don't know how to walk away from this and transition to something that makes me happy because at the same time, this is where at least I'm appreciated and I'm valued. But I think if you like, I almost, cause he's drawing me to like acceptance speeches of like when he's gotten the award I, it's, I'm being drawn to like notice how I'm being humble. It's not even that I'm humble. It's that I'm not happy. I, I don't care that I won this Grammy. I don't care that I won this award. I feel empty inside. This isn't this piece of metal, this piece of whatever, whatever it's made out of. It's just going to collect dust on a shelf. I don't care. I feel empty. I think that's why he kept getting married and stuff like that. It's like I'm, I'm looking outside of myself to make myself happy, and I just can't figure it out. There he is. Yeah, so I think that's why he leaned on substances and stuff like that. It's like I'm just going to numb out because when I – it's reminded me of like Justin Bieber. That's kind of the vibe of this. It's like maybe his innocence was taken from him because that's kind of a vibe too. And he, that could be in your early 20s, too. You're still being taken advantage of if you're in your early 20s. But it's like, I'm numb. I'm detached. I'm, I'm an empath who doesn't even know how to connect. And, it's, and I'm hearing B system with this card, so run with it, I guess. But it's just the vibe of, like, this doesn't make me happy. These people don't make me happy. This feels like it's, like, I'm being drawn to the chain. It's like, this feels like I'm stuck here. I don't want to do this. I'm not happy. I can't describe how unhappy this guy was. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm biding time to get out, but I can never get out, so I guess there's only one way to get out. That's that's kind of the vibe of this. This is sad. It's like what how do I get back to my inner child? How do I how do I find joy again? How do I make this fun? Maybe I can flirt with the girls. Maybe I can It's just oh my God. Spirit, can you please, like, get me out of his energy? Because it's so distracting. I feel so empty and numb and sad. Like, I wouldn't wish this. I mean, I don't even have a worst enemy because, like, hater wish you well. But it's just like, hold on. Oh, my God. Um, I had to pause it because they, they put me in his energy. And all of a sudden, I just ha I had to break down. Um, I'm hearing the song, Why Do We Scream at Each Other? This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. It's like, I'm being drawn to Dolores Cannon and how she talks about the three waves of star seeds. And I believe the first wave was like, they were born in the 1940s or something. Was he born around that time? Because it feels like, it feels like he was a star seed 
that, and if you're not into that, just it feels like he was a very innocent soul that couldn't handle the denseness of this reality. That's what this feels like. It's like, I'm so sad I want to go home. Like, I'm hearing Michael Buble home. It gives me the vibe of, like, he's probably one, if you're a light worker, you know how this feels, where you, like, look up at the stars and you're like, I want to go home. And logically, it doesn't make any sense, but in your soul, it makes perfect sense. And then I'm being drawn back to this card where it looks like contracts and stuff, and it's like, I'm stuck in this. How do I get out of this? It feels like I have no way out, so my body's failing me. Like, I'm being drawn to how, you know, people... They, they're they depressed and so they lean on foods and then all of a sudden you see them and they're like 50 pounds heavier and you're like, oh, how did you gain weight? But it's like, I'm sad. It's not that, you know, they have a thyroid issue or yada yada. It's I'm depressed and so my body is doing what it knows best, protecting. So it's protecting my organs and so I'm putting fat on and stuff. So I don't know, did he, did he weigh a lot at one point? Well, I mean, they do make you do shit for movies like work out and do crazy shit like that. But it's like, I don't think he, I don't think he knew who he was. It's such a weird, sad energy. I, I'm going to have to like take a bath or something after this because this is so sad. Relationships. It's like, this is him. He's a cancer. It's like, I, I'm going to relationships to try and make myself feel happy. I'm going to connect with other people. Maybe that'll make me feel happy. People aren't getting me. And you know what I'm being drawn to? Like Nikola Tesla and stuff. So maybe he had a mind that was like more advanced than most. Like I'm being drawn to like, Albert Einstein, people with like higher intelligence. And that doesn't mean that like he had a high IQ. That could mean like metaphysical intelligence, emotional intelligence. He was above most people intellectually. Whatever category it is, it doesn't matter. But it's like, it's not, he never saw people as beneath him because that's not how he moves. It's just like, you guys don't get me. You don't see me. You don't understand my depth. You don't get me. Yeah, I think this is why a lot of his, the first two marriages failed. I don't know if he was married when he passed or not, but it's like, this is why my relationships failed. This is why I felt like I needed to get out of the industry. It's like, you. every time I try to offer my cup, you guys just don't get me. And frankly, I don't get myself, so I'm just molding to be what you guys want me to be so that everybody's happy. I almost feel as well that like because he was so good at what he does, there was a mixture of like having to do it because it at least kind of makes me feel alive because then I make people happy. It's giving Britney Spears vibes. But then also it's like can't get out of the contract, can't leave because I'm producing. Yeah, I'm seeing like um, dolls on a conveyor belt. It's like got to make more, got to make more, got to make more. So you got someone with a, a hardcore identity crisis. And then on top of that, you're in an industry that you can't remove yourself from. And it's like I think it was taking a toll on his body. So I don't. If you guys, I'm going to forget. So just say in the comments, you want to see the link about spirituality and health issues because I'm going to forget. Um, but that's the vibe. It's like, I don't know that it was necessarily dementia in a way that we understand. It's more like the body, the brain, all of it failing because I don't under, it's like, didn't he play, yeah, Mork and Mindy, he was an alien. I feel like that kind of, coincided with how he felt he didn't feel human i'm being drawn to a lot of alien related tv shows and movies like the show alien if you haven't seen it seen it it's really good i love that show especially if you're a light worker you're gonna relate really hard with that show but um and it's on peacock i believe but these people should sponsor me i bring them up all the time um but he just he like leaned on relationships he leaned on substances and i think it took a toll on his body i think it took a toll on his soul and so his body reacted. It's Again, it's like, you know, you're really depressed. You're eating a bunch of sugar, um, sugary foods, and then you have diabetes. It's like, well, you were depressed. That was the source of your diabetes. You know what I mean? That's kind of the vibe of this. So I don't really know how spiritually dementia works or if he even fully, because it's almost like everything's giving out, like everything. I'm being drawn to um, to someone I knew that I lost young because they were abusing their body and they were really depressed and so everything was failing. That's kind of the vibe of him. It's like everything was failing. It's not just, uh, boom, dementia, all of a sudden my mind's going. It's like I've been fighting this war inside of my soul for decades and my whole body's shutting down. So I, I, I don't, 
I don't feel that it was like, um, for my conspiracy theorists, this is exactly why I wanted to do this reading. I don't feel like this was any type of like, he got whacked or anything like that. No, I feel like the industry mixed with a lack of sense of self that killed him. And it's like, I don't know what else to do. I don't even feel alive. I don't feel coherent. I don't feel here. Okay, this is one of his ex-wives. Or current wife. Because I should have... Was he married when he died? I don't know. I got their names. I feel like his wives, one of them or two, they tried to help him. But again, it's like, I don't understand myself. So... I'm just trying to grip to this false sense of self that I have. I feel like he kind of pushed people away when they tried to get too close. Yeah, because I'm hearing the song um, <clears throat> where it's like space is just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get too close. That's kind of the vibe of this. It's like I've got to hold on to what I have because if I were to let it go, I already don't know who I am. So that would just make matters worse. You know what I mean? Like that would be like. If I didn't have a solid sense of self and this, what I do now, is the only thing that makes me feel alive and then someone I loved was like, you should stop doing this, then it'd be like, well, then what do I have left? Like, that's kind of the vibe. But imagine I also didn't enjoy this. Like, that's kind of the vibe. I feel like one or two of his ex-wives were probably like, you need to move on and find something that actually makes you happy, but he didn't listen to them because he's kind of stubborn. I'm not going to lie. Wouldn't be shocked if there's like a Scorpio placement involved because it's like emotional but keeping to myself about my emotions. Yeah, it, everything's a burden. Everything's a burden. And I don't know how to move forward. And even, and I can't receive help because I'm the giver. I give help. I think if he had a choice, he would have got out of the industry and just like lived on a secluded island. And just tried to sit in silence. Like, I almost feel like he just wants to be left alone. Like, that's kind of the vibe. It's like, I just want to, I just want to go on a beach, sip my ties, have no one around, no noise at all, phones off, TVs off, no one knows who I am. Yeah, I see him with like those glasses that have the fake mustache on. It's like, like, new phone, who this? Like, that's the vibe. Like, just running away. Yeah, I'm hearing the song Running Away. Um, I forget who sings that song. Um, Midnight Hour, Running Away, great song. Um, he just wanted to escape. I think that's why he fucked with drugs. But it was just like, I'm, I'm depressed, I'm struggling, I don't know what to do. His body was giving up on him, everything was. Huh. I, okay, that's the literal hanging. But why the Seven of Swords? Because this reminds me of, like, a reckless action that I can't take back. So I do feel like he actually did do it. But with that Seven of Swords, it's kind of giving me an illusionary thing. That, you know what? I need a second deck because I'm confused. Why is the Seven of Swords next to the hanging? Hold on. Wait, before I pull, let me just, let me do this. Anxiety. Out of my comfort zone. Defensive. This doesn't make sense. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to be honest. As I'm shuffling to try and get... Because I don't want to assume here. But it, I'm almost hearing like I was in a phase. It's like I'm hearing lights out. Like, it's almost like I don't re remember even doing it. Like, I, it's just like one minute I'm here, the next minute I'm not. I don't remember doing it. But that could be his soul just not being able to accept what happened. I need to clarify this, Spirit. Intuition, the devil, page of pentacles, what? Quick decision I wish I didn't make. Maybe this will, th this is giving me like today for tomorrow energy. Like I'm in a, a fog, was was he under the influence when this happened or it's almost, it almost feels like, I mean, conspiracy theorists, if you want to go with the MK Ultra thing, go for it. I don't really care. This is up to you. Um, but what I'm getting intuitively is like, I'm in a haze, and I don't know that it feels like it's drugs. I can't tell. It's like intuitively I know that I shouldn't make this decision, but it's like I'm I'm not fully here with that devil card here. I'm not fully here, and I make a quick, rash decision, and then boom, I'm gone. I, I got that with that Knight of Wands in reverse. Can I get more information on this? 
Vulnerability. Uh oh. What? Did he have a fight with his spouse prior to this? Why does this feel like it has something to do with the wife? She's an air sign. And then notice how there's a lion behind him. Nine, Knight of Wands, reckless. Did he have a fight that night and not trust his wife? Seven of Wands in reverse, that's vulnerability. What the, hold up, what? Okay, I just asked my Alexa if he was married to this Susan chick when he died, and he was. I feel like he had a fight with his wife that night. Hold on. Nine of Wands, exhausted. Nine of Cups, a wish that I didn't want. Eight of Cups, pulling back my love. Something happened with his wife that night. Was she home? Was it on the phone? There's something to do with the wife here that made, it's like the straw that broke my back. But again, it's like I made a, a quick, it's like boom and I'm gone. Which would make sense with the nine of swords out of my comfort zone, defensive with that seven of wands. Hold on. This is a mess. Give me a second. I don't want to get this wrong. Judgment in the reverse. So what, what isn't being seen? Knight of Swords. They, I think they were fighting that night. <clears throat> I think him and his wife were fighting that night. Words exchanged. Is this the magician? Magician in reverse manipulation. I think they were fighting about money. Or maybe he wanted to quit. Hold up. Knight of Cups, that's him. King of Swords, I'm standing my ground. Six of Pentacles, this isn't fair. What? What's the back deck? Ten of Cups, family. Eight of Wands, fast. What is this? Death card, refusal to change. I, the hangman, I'm trying to get unstuck. I'm looking at everything I put in. Can't move forward. This is all falling apart. Abuse of power. Apathetic. Three of Swords, heartbreak. He was in a fight with his wife the night he died. I don't know if... Run with it. Use your own intuition. I'm not going to go further than that. I'm not going there. Um, I'm going to leave that one alone. But on the night that he died, he was in a fight with his wife. And it had something to do with him wanting a change. And I don't think she supported that. Could she be someone that's money hungry? I don't, I don't know her story. I don't know. I don't... It doesn't feel like she necessarily did anything to set him up. That's not really the vibe I'm getting. But I do feel like a rash decision based on the stress of this marriage. My intuition. Words were exchanged. I think they had an argument. I think that could have been what made him make that choice. Home in reverse. Detached. Did he want to leave her? I feel trapped. Did this just go conspiracy? Hold on. What's the back deck? Looking at everything I put in. This is death. Four of swords. I want to pause. I want to reflect. But this is also like laying down. I'm asleep. Looking at everything I put in. I want to start something new. It almost feels like he wanted to leave his wife. Ace of pentacles. Six of pentacles in reverse again. With the moon right next to it. Unequal give and take. I want to start something new. I almost feel like he wanted to leave his wife. Manipulation. Success. Friction between two people. But that's also ego and pride. I feel like they had a fight right beforehand. Unpleasant memories. I want out. I want to start over. You know what? Let's take a look at his wife real quick. This, is, this went away. I didn't expect it to go. This has something to do with the wife. I don't know. If, if it's dark, then we'll find out. If it's not, then we'll just find out that they had a fight prior to it. Let's, let's de I always deep dive, y'all. We're going to do it. Bro, as I'm shuffling, that song that I heard before, this is what it sounds like when the doves cry, um, it literally starts with, she's never satisfied. So, was there trouble in paradise? I don't know. All right, so his marriage and then any final messages that we can... Get. I had a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm happy here. I think that they had a hearing levels can't leave. Why not? Dead. What? 
bad timing. What the fuck did I just step into? Was it the wife? What What is going on? Emotionally depleted. There she is again. Look at how they're not facing each other. Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm like pulling back my love. Queen of Swords, sharp tongue. Ace of Wands, I want to start something new. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys trust your own intuition with this. I'm not going to... I'm not going to imprint because I'm going to be honest with you. I can't tell either one of two things happen. Either they had a, they definitely had an argument. They either had an argument because he wanted to start something new. So that could be career. That could be, I want to get out of the industry, out of the limelight. But with eight of cups right next to death, eight of cups reversed, I can't walk away. I don't know. Take that as it feels. Cause then everything will fall apart. Seven of Swords again. King of Pentacles, what? Was she with somebody else? Did she quickly move on after him? Did she date someone else? This, this is the one thing I don't like about me not doing research. But if I do too much research, then I have a bias and I don't want to be biased. So I'd rather not know something that everybody else does than have a bias and come into a reading with a bias. But... Was she seeing someone else? Because that's not Robin. That's a King of Pentacles. That's not Robin. I cannot stop hearing the song, She's Never Satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. They got into a fight that night. I wonder if he found out she was cheating. Seven of Swords. That's the deception card. But it's in the reverse, so it's giving me like, I know, tower, it's falling apart. But, you know, if you don't want to go that deep, this could also just be, this could be, him and his finances being at the top of his height of his career. So maybe she was against him leaving his career, leaving what he's created. This kind of, I'm hearing gold digger by Kanye. Listen, listen. And now I'm being drawn to my fool's gold. Are you kidding me? Does she want to just be with him for the money? Now I'm hearing the song's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money. What the fuck? There's some weird shit going on with this marriage. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, you choose. Is this worth it? I'm exhausted. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel like he wanted to end the marriage. With that four of pentacles in reverse, it's like I'll throw money at it, go away. Unequal give and take again, but that's also reminding me of contracts and breaking contracts. The six of pentacles is in the reverse. And it literally says selfish on it, strings attached. Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings, but also, like, I'll give you the money. I almost feel like they had a fight about divorce or change of career. One of those two. You guys follow your intuition with that. I'm not going to go too far on that. I want to move on. Um, Spirit Team, anything else about his passing or anything he wants us to know? I'm going to hold on. Let's move on. What do we need to know? Final messages from him. Not about this. You guys make your decision on what route you think that went down. Jesus. Fuck. <sighs> really? Ready for something new? I don't... I feel like he wanted to leave his wife. I can't shake that. I tried. I just tried... I just cleansed the energy. That was not enough, apparently. And then four of swords, but look at how he's dead. Maybe he felt... Tri so maybe he felt trapped in the marriage, couldn't get out, and then he took his life. I don't know. You guys run with that as you will. Yeah, it's like if I leave, then I can start over. Family. There's something. There's something. I'm, it's suspicious. I'm hearing the TikTok thing. It's suspicious. There's something suspicious with this wife. I don't know what's going on here. I just heard unrequited love. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Cycle that didn't end. Dose of realism. Manipulation. Three's a crowd. Friction between two people. The moon is lies, deceit, deception. I almost wonder. They could have also had an arrangement because we see that very often with celebrities where they're married but they're allowed to see other people because it's optics and it's not love. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys run with it. I'm not going to. 
I'm not going to, you know what I could do? I could use the love oracles. What's the back deck real quick? Trying to un get myself untrapped. Success. I, have, I don't have anything else to give. Worried about, look at this. There he is again. Emotionally depleted. Right next to the devil card. I feel like I'm trapped. There's no escape. So do I feel like she actually did something to him? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I do feel like there was trouble in paradise. Let me just, let me end this real quick with love oracles and then we'll call it a day. You guys make your own opinion on that. I'm not going to go there. I don't feel like arguing in the comments. I won't anyway, but there, there's definitely something going on with that marriage that that's not adding up. Something, the math ain't mathin', y'all. The math is not mathin'. I'm hearing the song by um, Drake where it's like too good. I'm way too good to you. You take my love for granted. I don't understand it. I feel like he wasn't happy. I could tell you that much. I'm so apathetic in this energy. It's wild. Okay, well, that's not shocking. They were definitely having a conversation the night of his death. Huh. Huh. This reminds me, you know what I'm being drawn to is how like people have this conspiracy theory. I don't know if it's true or not. Where like you find pictures of people from like the 1800s and they look exactly like um, the people that exist today. So like Justin Timberlake. I think there was one with like Nick Cage. Um, but I almost feel like this woman, the last wife at least, they had a past life connection and he was trying to get away from her. But I don't I don't know that if if somehow she's the cause, allegedly, of the dying. I think it would be on a metaphysical way. I don't think it would be like I did it. I'm not getting a vibe of like OJ getting away with the Nikki thing. That's not the vibe I'm getting. It's more like you're suffocating me. It is safe for you to love in the reverse. He found out something. I think she was cheating or. She showed her true colors. There, there's more to that story. What did I say? Remember? I, I literally just said this. I think he wanted out of that marriage. I think he felt trapped in his life, period. I think he wanted out of that marriage. And I feel like he just made a quick, rash decision because it's like, I'm, I'm being drawn to like the movies where the man is miserable in his marriage and his job and then he goes out into the garage and he fills it with like CO2 in his car and he dies. It's like, I can't get out. I, I don't see a way out. And now I'm gone. I don't, I don't think she did anything. I think that was the straw for him. Pay attention to the red flags. She, I don't buy that. I mean, you could love someone and, and still treat them poorly. So, I mean, you know, if she was like, oh, my God, I lost my husband. Like, she could still actually mean that because a lot of people realize what they've taken for granted when someone dies. But I do feel like they had a fight that night. I do feel like she was cheating or was interested in someone else but wanted Robin's success and fame and wanted the glitz and glam. It's, I'm being drawn to the Kardashians, so wanting the glitz and glams. I, Yeah. True love in the reverse is the back deck. Are you kidding me? Trust is up. I, I just keep hearing, I trusted you. There's inner child wounds that they probably both mirrored within each other with that children card. And then also, I just heard the song Stay for the Kids. So I wonder if she guilted him too. Like, you have to stay. We have Do they have children together? Or if he had children with other people, maybe she took on the stepmom role. I don't know. But it's like, we got to do this for the family. He's definitely a family man, cares about that because it's like, I don't know who I am. Retreat in the reverse, I couldn't get away. So it was like my only option left. Chemistry died. I feel like she was cheating or seeing someone else. I'm worried about his finances and career. You benefit me financially. I don't think she loved him anymore. I think that was the straw for him. It was a loveless marriage. I think he found some shit out. I almost see him like looking at her phone or something. Look at how this card says the signs are cautioning you. He he's very intuitive, so I feel like he caught on to something. I don't think that she like nixed him. I don't think that's what it was. I think there's some metaphysical stuff going on. He never really knew who he was. I mean, I don't know. Rewatch this. You could tell me what you guys think in the comments. I'm gonna leave that alone for my conspiracy theorists. If you want to run with it, go for it. I don't think she did anything. I think 
he was already going through some shit. You know what I feel too as well? Did he really have dementia? Because I almost feel like I'm being drawn to like an empath that doesn't know boundaries that gets gaslit all the time so they don't know left from right from up from down. Did he really have dementia? Because I don't know that I buy that. It almost feels like I feel like I'm going crazy because everybody around me is treating me like I'm crazy and I can't function in this world. You know what it's giving me is like the first model of a phone that comes out and it's got all these bugs because it's it's just it's the first model. It's like Robin Williams was like the first model or like the first trip to the moon and the spaceship explodes because we, we never did that before. And so they don't know how to fully do it's like. It's, I'm being drawn to Mork and Mindy. It's like I'm an alien and I don't know how to make this shit work. My body's failing me because I don't understand how this works. The people around me are a bunch of narcissists gaslighting me. I feel like a jellyfish. I'm falling apart. I'm dating people that are not good for me, that don't appreciate and value me. This man was like fated to suffer. Like that card came out too in the oracles. So yeah, um, I don't know. You take with that what you will. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like anything – Evil, evil happened like we saw in the Matthew Perry reading. It did not feel anything like that. It feels like a sad tragedy of someone who made a lot of people laugh because he himself was actually not happy at all. So I want to end this with check on your friends. Check on the people you love, the ones that are smiling and they're saying that they're okay all the time, the ones that always check on you, but you're like, they've got to have it together because I can relate to this energy. People like... People that are empathic, they don't really like to bother others, and it's hard for us to learn how to ask for help. And that's kind of the vibe of Robin Williams. So check on your friends, the ones that are strong, the ones that are funny. Make sure that they're okay. And if you relate to that, make sure that you are okay and pour into your cup first and make sure that you know your needs matter too, your emotions matter too. What makes you happy? What can you do today, small or big, that'll make yourself happy? You know, can you decide today to splurge and spend that extra ten dollars and get yourself some chipotle and buy your favorite drink and watch your favorite movie start prioritizing your well-being because robin williams is kind of like a cautionary tale we all thought he was happy right but it's usually those people that end up you know taking their lives because who's checking on them when they always say that they're okay you know we have a society where if you're if you're suffering the one thing you're going to say when people ask how you are is going to be I'm okay. I'm fine. But if you're good, then you'll be like, I'm great. I'm good. But no one's ever going to say I'm really bad because they feel like it's a burden. So we need to unlearn this so that something like this doesn't happen to you, your friends, your family, the people you love. Let's start leaning on one another and let's start really having hard conversations because that's where the most heartfelt, healthy connections come in from when we stop hiding all aspects of us because that's what makes us us robin williams is a beautiful soul despite his depression and despite not feeling like he was understood he really gives me starseed dolores cannon wave of starseed that came in to help change the energy of the world but just couldn't handle the density of this this world so yeah check on your loved ones make sure you pour into your own cup um you know when the airplane's going down you have to put the mask on you before you can save anybody else so Learn from Robin Williams' mistake, you know? Put your mask on first. Worry about you first. Turn those notifications off, bestie. Give yourself a self-care day when you need it. It's not selfish. And the people that love you, they'll stick around for it. So I'm going to end it at that. Um, I hope that you guys kind of enjoyed this. If you feel kind of sad and icky, maybe put on some good music or do a meditation or something because this was not the best energy to be in. But as always, you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You'll be the first to know when a video comes out. All the links are down below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all the links, same links down below. If you guys do feel called to tip, I have a virtual tip jar down in the description box of all my videos. Um, But yeah, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here. Don't forget to always check out the community post so that you guys can vote on future videos. And, you know, stay well, stay safe, take care of yourself. You matter. You come first. People that love you, they can wait, you know. Don't don't let this be your cautionary tale. I feel like Robin Williams is like, it's either him or a spirit team coming through to be like, guys. Yeah, because I'm hearing the song, Express Yourself. Tell people when you're struggling. Tell someone that you can confide in. Go to a therapist if you don't trust anybody. But your mental health, it matters because your body will take the brunt of it if you don't deal with it. But I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm rooting for you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. You can always make your dreams come true. Believe in yourselves. 
And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. The Comic PM.